Hey guys, it's Kevin from Voodoo TV, and today we're going to take a quick look at the new MSI X Power 2 Big Bang motherboard. We've also got a lot of requests for this uh, as well, same with D7970, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I want to do a quick look at some of the key features that MSI has put on the back of the box, so that's always fun to look at. So first, we have their new super pipe technology, which uh, gives 50 degrees Celsius lower temperature, the world's thickest 8 millimeter heat pipe, 60% thicker than a traditional heat pipe and 90% better cooling efficiency. We have the OC Genie 2, which is the world's first true auto overclock tool. So it makes overclocking a lot easier for you guys who kind of want to try it out, but not really too knowledgeable about it. Uh, detects hardware configuration and determines the optimized overclocking setting automatically. So that's perfect. Um, we also have Sound Blaster SF, oh, sorry, S5 MV2, so that's built-in audio. So you can save a little bit of money on having to purchase a sound card from there and a whole bunch of other stuff, which as you can see right here, is a lot of their supercharger, clock BIOS 2. So let's go ahead and get started on taking a look at the product. Fortunately, someone has already uh, unboxed it for me right here. Nice little package. So here is the motherboard and we'll get to that in just a second. But first, let's go over the other contents that MSI gives us. So in here we have a quick guide. Seems like a poster. It is a poster, basically. Okay, so quick guide, a overclocking guide for screen gaming, quick installation guide. Uh, MSI has actually given you a neat little certificate of quality and stability for their military class three, top quality and stability. So you can frame that on your wall if you'd like. Uh, drivers, which don't need, go to the website, so I'll throw that away. Uh, we have your front panel USB 3s here, software application, user guide, uh, connectors, connectors, pins, SLI, SLI, crossfire, bridges, um, every cable imaginable for your motherboard, so it's power, eSATA, yeah, basically everything you need here, and your IO shield. So let's get this out of the way. And let's take a look at what everyone actually came to see, which is this beast of a motherboard. So the X Power 2 is MSI's flagship motherboard uh, on the Intel X79 Express chipset. And this is the latest in their Big Bang series uh, marketed for the X brand, uh, X Power brand. For you guys who use AMD processors, this would be marketed under the Conqueror brand. The X Power 2 is also the top of the line product model for the LGA 2011 processors. As you can see, it is uh, built with the XL ATX form factor, XL being extra large, as you can always just tell by looking at the size of this. And they've gone with a really cool military novelty uh, visual or military theme, actually. So the Gatling gun and the bullets and whatnot. So uh, let's take a closer look at the board. To start off, we're going to go over the PCI slots. Um, I can't really take this sticker off just yet, but there are actually seven PCI slots here running at X16, X8, 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 which is a treat for all you uh, multi-GPU users. Four of the slots, which uh, naturally I would assume is the first four, are actually PCI3 compatible. There are six SATA gigabit per second ports and four SATA3 gigabit per seconds, and these are all RAID capable via Intel's rapid storage technology. And let's see, uh, over here, yeah, they still have the two-digit debug LEDs. So for you guys who want to, you know, debug it and fix any errors that you guys might have caused in the motherboard, that's available there. There is a clear CMOS button. I'm just trying to find where it is. I know it's here. It's, there's a lot to this board, but uh, there is a clear CMOS jumper. Uh, one front panel audio, two direct overclock buttons. We're all somewhere here. Uh, we have a firewire header and a one overclock genie button, which is actually down at the bottom here, and it's beside the multi BIOS button. So with the multi BIOS button, the board is equipped with dual BIOS. So MSI actually has made it pretty easy to replace one of the BIOS if you guys you know push the board right to the limit and something goes awfully wrong. So it's also extremely easy to use the second good BIOS right over the first one in case you brick it. Uh, just it's as simple as that. So uh, let's see, what else do we have here? We have a nice military class three sticker over where you would put the processor. Again, I can't take this out just yet. Uh, ample space for all your RAM. So a lot of plenty of space for cooling in case you guys want to overclock that as well. 
Uh, we have a nice little magazine clip here, which is a heat sink tied to bridge here. And we also have a nice Gatling gun heat sink at the top. So with the Gatling gun heat sink, um, not because it is designed like a Gatling gun, but this means that you can actually get 600 watts of power that can be delivered directly to the CPU. And this is all via two 8-pin 12-volt connectors. And uh, another safety feature that MSI has actually put into this motherboard is that it will actually cause the system to shut down if it detects that the CPU temperature exceeds 130 degrees Celsius. Now that might sound a lot, but for, I know some of you uh, extreme overclockers out there, that should not really be hard to reach. Okay, so next we're gonna take a look at the back panel. Starting from the bottom, we're going to have your audio out ports, two LAN ports, four USB 3.0 ports, these are USB 2, USB 2, a FireWire port, which is always nice to have. Over here, you have your spit of out and a optical port. And actually, I did find the clear CMOS button. It's over here. Not exactly clearly labeled, but I guess it's a clear button, uh, pun intended. Up here, we have a keyboard mouse port and two more USB 2.0 ports. So that's the back panel. So I turn this a little bit so you guys can get a better look at the fold board here. So with the MSI board, I'm sure you guys have figured out this is not you know, the cheapest board out there. It's uh, slightly priced higher than most motherboards because this was actually designed for you extreme overclockers. For you guys that like to take hardware and push it to the limit, this is perfect for you guys. Now there's a bit of a challenge to this motherboard and that's not finding out what the limits are or just you know, overclocking it. The challenge is trying to get it fit into your computer case. As mentioned, this is an Excel ATS form factor, so you're gonna have a bit of an issue trying to maybe get it to fit, especially with you know, if you decide to crossfire or SLI some your video cards here, it's gonna bring it out just a little bit. But, you know, if you guys are stream overclockers, I'm sure you already took that into consideration. And the other challenge is finding a big enough and uh, a big enough case with a clear window to sort of show off the nice little military theme that they have going here. So that's gonna wrap up our look at the MSI X Power 2 Big Band motherboard. Uh, we're gonna have a more detailed review on our blog, so at blog.voodoo.com. Be sure to comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot more cool products coming in and we're gonna do some reviews on those as well. So until next time, see you then.